Hello everyone and welcome to Knife Review 3000. Today we've got the Savivi Mastodon and Mastodon Junior, or Mini Mastodon. Uh, we'll get to that, that one in a minute. Um, we'll start with this guy. Uh, this version is the Carbon Fiber G10 Damascus version. Comes in at about $56, $57. Uh, the little one as uh, about forty six dollars forty seven dollars about about ten dollars difference um and then, then there's different versions with different scales and different steels so that's going to vary a couple dollars um either way so um so about you know between 55 60 bucks for this guy um off the bat, it's it's kind of ridiculous, but I like it. Um, you've got a overall length of nine inches. The the blade length is is just under four, um, three point eight seven five, I think. Um, it's very wide, obviously cleaver style, but it does have a, a tip on it to do some piercing. Um, not super thick stock, but still pretty chunky. Um, I was afraid it was going to be kind of front heavy, blade heavy, but it's actually fairly, fairly yeah, I'm not very good at this, but, um, you know, that center of gravity, there's just, just behind the pivot. Um, so when you're holding it, it's, it's really, really nice to, to handle actually. Um, pretty, pretty large, chunky handle, but it's, um, curved in all the right places. You got the nice choil there. Um, it's actually fairly comfortable. You, you should be able to use this fairly, fairly long time without having hot spots or anything. It's, it's, fills up the hand well. Um, of course my, oh, my, Always my issue with carbon fiber is it's very slick, um, but on the edges there where it's cur you know, kind of curved, um, there is some texturing, so that's nice. That's, you can kind of tell the G10 from the carbon fiber there. Um, got skeletonized, very skeletonized liners to try to keep that weight down. Overall weight is what uh 5.86 ounces. So not not light, but for something this big, um that's not too bad. I I really haven't noticed it like weighing down my pocket or anything. The the biggest thing I notice though when you when you have it in your pocket, uh this will come up and hit the hem and you'll you kinda have to maneuver it around a little bit or put it higher up in your pocket so when you're pulling it out this doesn't hit the hem and you have to kind of go around it um so that's that's the only odd thing that i've i've encountered with carrying it is just kind of have to take it in and take it in and out a little bit differently than you would most knives um but it's not a big deal. You get used to it pretty quick. Uh, the action on it's fairly smooth, but you're you're moving a lot of metal there, so it's not super snappy or anything. But it it works. It gets it out. It's not again not super fast, but it works. Um, if if you're wanting something super fast, this isn't the knife for you. The Damas steel, the Damascus that they've got is looks really pretty, very uh, polished, uh, very smooth blade, uh, complete flat grind on there. So, you know, it, it should be fairly slicey. Um, I've done some work on boxes and just, you know, stuff around the house and it's done just fine. No, no issue there. No issue with the sharpness it came with um so you do have this choil up here if you want to choke up and do some more fine work 
and that works well. It's big enough that I'm not afraid I'm going to cut myself on that if I slip a little bit. Um, plenty big enough for my hands. You'd have to have pretty big hands for this to be too small. Uh, I can get another finger on there if need be. Um, the pocket clip, deep carry, inset screws, which is nice. It's on this slick carbon fiber, so it comes in and out fairly easily. Uh, it is reversible, uh, tip up only, but it's all right. Um, a nice back spacer there looks good. Fit and finish is always nice with these. Um, don't have any issues there. Did come with some oil on it more than normal. It's kind of weird, but just wiped it off. It's fine. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the big guy. Um, the little one, leave that there. Um, so the mini Mastodon, this one is green G10 with the uh, stonewashed blade. Uh, let's see the stats on this guy. Little guy here. Sorry about that. Let's see. So three inch blade. Uh, this one's gonna be a 9CR 18MOV. Uh, seven, a little over seven inches overall. Okay, compare it there. Um, weight is, is 3.6 ounces, so not, not too bad at all. Same, you know, liner lock, skeletonized liners in there, fit and finishes, same as on the other one, very nice. A um, little bit faster action maybe, but not, you know, it's, it works, it's, but it's not super fast. Um, you can also get it out with your thumb if you want. There's enough area there to do that. The handle is a good bit smaller. I'd, um, it, it fills up the hand, but not, not as confidently as, as the big guy. And it is right at four fingers for me. If you have big hands this, and you want a four finger knife, this might not be the, the best one for you because um, your pinky would be hanging off there. But um, about the same as the other one. You know, high, high grind on there, very slicey, not super thick stock on this guy. So um, it's a good cutter. Got a decent tip on there for penetrating if you need to. Um, so, yeah, it's... I like both of them. Um, this one's a little bit small for me. My pinky's kind of already hanging off there. So, um, you know, if I wanted to carry a cleaver but didn't want something this big, you know, this might be a, a good alternative. There's, def there's nothing, you know, inherently wrong with it. Um, it is, it's just a little, just a little small. Um, but for normal EDC use, it's, it's just fine. Just fine. Um, and again, this one comes in about $47. There's a couple of different options for colors as, you know, as far as scale, scales and all that. Um, but they're all about the same price. So, yeah, um, you can compare it to, I did the, that CGRB. Uh, a week or two ago, you can kind of compare it there. Um, and then maybe here's a pair of three. Kind of see how, how they all line up. Um, so the CGRB might be a good alternative if, if you don't want something that big, but don't want something that small. Well, there you go. You can do that guy. I'll leave a link to this video uh, in the description. And then here's my my main carry knife, that pair of three lightweight, just for comparison there. So, so yeah, that's kind of a take on the Mastodon and Mini Mastodon. 
Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them below. If you haven't subscribed, please do. We're almost at 100, and I'll, we'll do some kind of giveaway video or something uh, when we hit 100. Um, but yeah, please like and subscribe. Thanks.